Since his art school days in 1976, photographer Andrew Chapman has had a fixation with wool sheds and shearing. The great uh, caverns of dark areas with narrow windows or doors and slits of light coming through and they create great dramatic uh, lighting effects, I guess. I like the wear and tear in old sheds. I've always uh, liked things that are worn. I, I don't like bright new shiny things and uh, shearing sheds fit into that you know, beautifully. He might be a city boy, but Andrew Chapman's work has no trace of the romanticised view of shearing, often imbued upon it from afar. I got the book out. As a documentary photographer, he has always sought the candid and sometimes confronting reality of shearing's tough, unrelenting toil. They're kind of a big boy's adventures. You just jump in the car and you drive and you sometimes someone will tell you about a shed and when you get there they'll tell you about another shed so you tend to leapfrog along and, and accumulate properties as, as you go. Just walk in front of me, don't worry about me, you just do your thing, okay? I'm very fortunate the farmers are really interested in what you're doing so they're always helpful in giving you some direction to, to head into and you're welcomed into people's farms. I saw the first copy today, I've got it here. I'm on zero one? Yeah, you're in it, you're famous. When he would come back from these journeys away, he just was so excited, so so full of stories, uh, so full of admiration for all these people he met in the sheds. And, and I think that's probably the lovely part about what he does. He just doesn't blow in for a day, photograph someone and come away. He lives with them, he, he gets to know them, and I think they consider that a real compliment that he just doesn't drop in for a day and take the shot and go home such a hard thing to photograph shearing when, when it's really flying. Everything only happens for a microsecond. You want one particular yes. shot and it comes and goes. If you, it's like being a sports yes. photographer. you just got to <laughs> you gotta be there the right and get time. it. Australia's wool industry has been buffeted by the harsh winds of economic reality. In the past two decades especially, depressed wool prices have slowly eroded the wealth of the nation's wool growing districts. In many cases, the wool shed the great symbol of pastoral prosperity has been an undocumented victim. The woolshed was the centre of production of many farms. I'd, I'd just like to see them preserved, and they can't. There's, there's not really a great economic model for a lot of uh, farmers to hold onto their sheds in certain areas. But you know, it, it's it's a real shame. The best of them date from another long gone age, and their antiquity alone puts them at risk. Entwined in the decaying infrastructure is a rich heritage and folklore, and in many cases, a way of life long vanished. It's a bit like the old Jimmy Buffett song, I wish I could sit in a bed of some motel, listen to the stories it could tell, but you go into a lot of sheds and, and they're full of stories. You know that a lot of joy, happiness, sorrow and pain have passed through these places. <laughs>